Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in Encouragers and Theories. In this video, I'll be showing you how I was able to create this flyer inside of CorelDRAW. Yes, this flyer inside of CorelDRAW. Of course, with easy steps, which you know and you've done in the previous video. If you don't mind, hit the subscribe button and uh, turn on post notification. Without having to say much, let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to have the name here, social media flyer, RGB, and the width and height stays 5x5, and of course, inches, please, then click OK. So when you do that, um, double click on the rectangle, and I'll just give it this 30% black, right, and make sure you right click here to move the outline, okay, great. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is go over to my resource file. The resource file, these pictures that I used is in the description of this video. Please make sure you click on the link to download these things and you can use them also and practice along. So I'm going to bring this, I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to click on adjust and I'm just going to um, click on, I'm going to click on yes, Q and saturation like this. So it's going to open this up. Okay, so um, you can. I'm just going to. I'm not focusing on the hue, and I'm going to turn down saturation like that. And I'm going to clip this out like this. So what I'm going to do is click on transparency, and I'm going to click on this one uniform fill, and I'm just going to take this up all the way like this and I'm going to put it inside here so how do I do that I'm going to make that black first and I'll put it inside here so let me move this outside right click on it right click on this image right now this one so you should select or I click inside when this arrow pops out select the rectangle itself right so um, click on edit so I did the content, click on transparency, and I'm just going to increase this all the way up like this. When I'm done, I'm going to click on finish, just like this. Right, and in most cases, you can also tint this by like this rectangle. Hold down your control, click on red to add just a little bit of red to it. But um, that's not the angle that we're actually going to today. Right, so I'm just going to control Z this thing that I just did this action and um, continue with the rest of the designs. Okay, heading over to my um, ellipse tool, I'm just going to hold down control while I draw an ellipse like this, round like this. So what you should do is go over here and um, I'm going to give it a red color. Of course, you remove the outline like this, right? Click on transparency, click on fountain fill and click on elliptical fountain fill transparency right so this is going to serve as like the background light inside of this image now so duplicate it ctrl c ctrl v and for this one i'm just going to give it orange color like this so while you're at it like this i'm going to make this bigger just bigger and also i'm going to make this bigger also so it's more like a flood light at the back or some kind of lighting at the back like this. But it's not perfect yet. Select the two of them and go to bitmap, convert it to bitmap like this. And um, these two selected, click OK. Right? So what you need to do here is go to effects, go to blur and click on Gaussian blur here like this. What you want to do here is very, very simple. So I'm just going to increase the radius. I'm just going to keep increasing it and uh, be checking to see which one is actually nice. Um, so what you want to do is keep increasing the radius like this. And um, I'm just going to do it one last time. Click here and uh, boom, there you go. So I'm just going to hide this. Okay, I'm just going to close that up um like that and i'm left with this so i'm just going to transparency 
and i'm just going to select screen please so for the lights we're going to be using screen so you have it this way what you should do next is move this out of the way right cut it double click on the rectangle here and paste it inside and move it in place when you're done click on finish like this voila so easy peasy you have your backlit lights on the background like this right isn't that nice and easy yeah so um the next thing you want to do is um this background is kind of like it's still very very obvious so i want to increase the transparency so i'm just going to leave it at um, somewhere around 90 is cool while i put this back and um click on finish let's see uh, yes this is sub tool and this is better than it was before the reason why i did that is you don't want the whole attention to be on the background um, leaving out the details that we're going to be having here um, in a short while so i'm just going to go over and i'm going to bring in the image of the lady so i'm dragging and dropping okay so i'm just going to resize it reduce the size like this and um, drag it to the middle of the page like this okay so in cases where you bring it in and you have it like this just press the letter p on your keyboard to put it to the center of the page so i'm just going to increase the size like this and um, this is what you have at this point right great so um i want to get rid of some areas but let me make this bigger while i click on transparency i'm holding down shift and i'm dragging from white to black remember white reviews and black conceals so i'm just going to do this this way like this okay i'm going to control z this and i'm just going to take this up like this like this until i get to this point right great so this is what i want to achieve go back to your um, selection tool your pick tool as the case may be um clicking on the image right this is the image yeah so um effects and uh, i'm going to go to color balance right so when it loads up under color balance move your slider here to red so just move your slider to the red region here and um, yeah lock this up this is what i want so what i just did is i added some red tints to the image right so to make it balanced with the background just like the name implies color balance right so ctrl x double click on the rectangle to paste it inside the rectangle and um, click finish when you are done so it's now inside of the rectangle right so great we'll, we've solved that problem right so hold down control while you draw another ellipse like this give it this color of course remove the outline and um, hold down control and click on yellow to add just one drop of yellow inside i'm going to be using this and i'm going to put this here change the blend mode to screen like this and uh, what you should do is slightly make this bigger so i'm going to increase from the edge guys holding down shift okay so i'm just going to go over to blow gaussian blow like this and add some blow to it right so i'm just going to increase the slider here turn it all the way up here like this i don't want it to be too much i think i'm just going to bring this back to you can copy my settings for this so with this one i'm just going to make a duplicate copy ctrl c ctrl v and i'm just going to bring this here like this 
I'm going to change this to red and I'm just going to reduce the size just like this okay so reducing the size just like this I'm going to position this here like this and I'm just going to increase it just so slightly like this I'm going to bring this inside so I don't have anything outside okay so um, make a duplicate copy of this onto C control V and I'm just going to bring it up like this okay so when it's up there what I want to do is I make sure I don't have any parts of it outside so I'm just going to shrink it inside here like this and shrink it inside here also like this put this down also like this okay until I have something like this so I'm just going to leave this the way it is here like this and um, yeah good to go yeah so I have my lights in the areas where I want it to be I'm gonna click on this image and I'm going to use my left arrow key to shift it to these areas like this and I'm done I'm gonna click finish to click out so let's add some text to this image right so I'm just going to type a few text and um, yes i'm going to start with this i'm going to type out photo i'm going to change the color to white and i'm going to use this font so the font i used is bazaar okay so this is bazaar right so of course if you zoom closer you see that you have spaces i'm a big fan of too many spaces so i'm going to use my shape tool to reduce the spaces in between so Ctrl C and Ctrl V and that's copy and paste. I'm just going to use this one to type out um, session sessions like this and I'm going to make this smaller this way like this. Yep. Take this smaller, bring this down like this okay so um so i have photo sessions all right so selecting the two of them i'm just going to increase the size like this and um, let me zoom out so i'll see what i'm doing in real time well so i'm just going to bring this down here like this and um, increase it like this just like this yes okay so having done that go over to your text tool again this time i'm typing something different free and um, i'm going to change the font to what i use i use a basilius for this basilius yeah so all of this is included in the resource file so you can get them and use them all right so make sure before you ask, you check your source file before you ask which font I used for this design, please. Right? So um, I'm just going to move it up, up onto, onto this. this point here like this. And I'm just going to leave it here like this. Right? Perfect. So I'm going to go over, I'm using my rectangle to now I'm drawing a rectangle like this. Right? I'm going to give it this red color. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, right? With your pick to bring this down here. Make sure you don't have any space in between the two of them. But this one is going to have an extra height compared to this. Select the two of them, remove the outline. So I'm going to focus on this now. Hold down Ctrl and keep clicking on black. You can click as many times as possible for you to arrive at the same color that I used. So this is how you can actually mix colors inside of Corrupto. So keep clicking on it, keep, keep um, clicking on it, clicking, clicking on it until you get this, right? So I think I'm okay with this. So you can see that this is a shade of the red also. It's just that I just added black to it. So with this one selected, I'm just going to go over, I want to make some adjustment here. So go over to my pen tool. And I'm just going to do this. 
click here click here click here and click here also right good so with this selected hold down shift and select your rectangle so you have two things selected click on weld to weld it now you might not see it just click on um shift page up to bring this up like this all right so as simple as that and um of course let me go on and type a couple of things i'm just going to speed this up here so it will take all of our time Okay, so there you have it. So I'm just going to go over to my source file and bring in this image again. This time I have different plans for it. So it's obviously too big. So I'm just going to make it smaller like this. And um, convert to bitmap. Click OK. Just click OK like that. So what you want to do is go to um, adjust, fill and saturation. And I'm just going to bring the saturation all the way down to this point here. So I'm desaturating it, right? Um, I'm done with everything else. I'm done with, done with everything else. I'm done with everything else. So I'm just gonna make this smaller and um, position this here because it will be somewhere around here. Just do this. Click on transparency and change the blend mode to overlay and make sure you click on this first one, right? So um, I'm just going to increase the value like this not not too much not a hundred but somewhere around here so that i can see the pattern below that so when you do this um i'm just for a while i'm just going to excuse this thing i brought in so i'm just going to move it aside just slightly like this so what you want to do is right click on it click on power clip inside so when this comes out, make sure you click on the rectangle. Double click on the rectangle now this time and um, you should be able to position this inside well like this. When you are done, click finish and voila, easy peasy guys. Easy and straightforward, right? Alright guys, if you've enjoyed this video, kindly support this video by giving it a thumbs up. It's very very important so that YouTube will recommend this video to other people who might just need it just like you, right? And learn a couple of things from it, right? If you've not subscribed to my channel, well, now is the right time to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything I'll be dropping in the next video or videos to come. Without further ado, I'm going to be seeing you in the next video. I love you all. Ciao.